Hey guys, Brick Queen here with an awesome Lego Star Wars set to review for you guys. This is one I've actually been meaning to review for several years now. Um, I got this, uh, probably I got this in 2009 or so. Uh, it came out in 2008. It was originally $50 and I waited till it went on sale for $30. And that's when I picked it up at Walmart. Um, so anyway, this is a really cool, cool set. So let's go ahead and check it out. And here it is, the Rogue Shadow set. So this one, one of the reasons that this is a really special set is because it's not based off of any of the movies. This is actually based off of Star Wars The Force Unleashed video game. That's right, this is based off a of video game, which I think is a little strange, but it's really, really awesome. I, I'm really glad that they made this set, and correct me if I'm wrong, some of you Star Wars fans out there may know if I'm incorrect on this, let me know, uh, but I think this is the only set that they made based off of that game. Uh, I, I just think it's a really awesome set. You get three really epic minifigures in this. Two of them are right here. The other one is in the set, which I'll get to in a minute. Um, but first, I do want to show you these two. Um, first up, we have a battle-damaged Darth Vader, which I think comes in one other set, possibly. Um, I don't think he's exclusive to this one. I could be wrong, but I don't think he is. Um, but still, very nice printing on him. Um, really like the face. Um, and this, you know, like, partial like half mask here you're gonna love what piece they actually used for this and if I take his head off and switch this around it's actually like the mask off of like maybe like Aquanauts or something like that um, it's actually the mask off of something so I mean I think that's kind of a, a really creative use of that piece they just kind of swapped it around and put it on there like that. So, and, and it looks awesome on him like that. Uh, it looks really, really good. I love it. So they did a fantastic job on that. And uh, see, they were really creative then. Um, and then also this, I believe is exclusive to this set. This is actually supposed to be Darth Vader's apprentice. Um, and I mean, I, this is a really cool looking figure. Um, I know that, you know, it's just kind of a basic, face here and there's no back printing or anything like that but I do love the printing on the torso if you look closely it looks like he's been bandaged and he's got some blood on there um, it's kind of surprising that Lego actually showed like the blood detailing and maybe I'm wrong maybe I'm remembering incorrectly but I'm pretty sure that's what that is um, feel free to correct me that's perfectly okay if I get something wrong just let me know. That's okay. Um, so I'm going to set these two, actually, well, I'm going to set this one to the side. Um, with Vader here, I forgot to mention this. Um, I noticed it just then. You can switch that out and have the full mask on there if you want to. So uh, that's awesome. But I personally, I prefer to keep it with this partial one. I just think that partial one is awesome. And uh, if there's any trackies out there, I think this face would also work really well for the Borg if you wanted to make a custom Borg figure. <laughs> Just throwing that out there. Anyway, so the ship itself is probably what you guys came for. Um, and there is so much cool stuff on this. I mean, the way they designed this set was really, really phenomenal. Um, I, you can see in the older sets like this that I think Lego, or at least the Lego Star Wars division, put a lot more effort into their sets um, during this time period, because this is an amazing set. Um, because a lot of times you get ships like this, and it's just basically the ship and maybe like one or two functions, but this one isn't like that. This is actually really cool. Now, I'm going to show you this. You can lift this up and just see what's underneath here, but there's actually a function with this too. You can see that there's a, a missile there, but that's not really intended for you to lift it up yourself. Um, there is actually a bar right here, and I'm going to flip the whole set around to show you that because it is a missile and I don't want to shoot myself in the face. I guess that's not fun. Um, so basically, if you take this and you just pull it back, you can see that's what lifts that up. And when you pull it all the way um, back, 
then it's going to shoot the missile like that. Um, so, I mean, I think that's really awesome. Now, one thing that I do have to complain about this set is that sometimes pieces do fall apart. And that could be because of the age of the set. Um, but sometimes I, I think the pieces just get a little bit loose. So that actually just came out. Um, and I'm, I'm not even going to try to reattach that at the moment. Um, but that, that literally is my only complaint about the set is that sometimes pieces come loose. And that's probably just because it's an older set. Um, so not really docking at any points for that. Um, you can uh, check out the cockpit like this. You can kind of lift it up or just pull it kind of back like that, however you want to do it. Um, it's totally up to you. And uh, while I'm at it, let me just show you. It does have landing gear down here that folds out like this. And uh, it's on both sides. Now, it doesn't really lock into place super well, but uh, anyway, I'm just going to fold that back up. And one of the, the biggest actual features on this is this part that swaps it from the, uh, you know, like landing mode like this to the flying mode like this. Um, and I think this is a really cool design for a ship, um, being that the sides are not actually the same. It's kind of unique. Um, you can see this side is just the one piece and on the other side, kind of turn this around, kind of awkward. Um, it's got the, the two different parts there. So I think it's really, really awesome set. Let me kind of set this down again and uh, about knock my light over. Sorry about that. All right, so you also have this part that lifts up and you've got some kind of hidden guns underneath here, uh, some blasters, blaster rifles really. Um, so the kind of nice to just have that like little little hidden feature there and that's not the only hidden feature there's actually this lifts up and that actually has a a thing to do it like this so you can just flip this piece right here and these actually are not like super attached you can kind of pretend like they're firing even though they're not actually flick fire I think that was kind of you know what they were kind of aiming for maybe not exactly flick fire but anyway there's that. And let me actually show you the, the cockpit here. Um, now there's nothing super fancy about the cockpit except for the glass piece, which is really cool. And then we also have the third and final minifigure in this set is Juno Eclipse. And she is actually the pilot of this. I know sometimes it's a little surprising to see a female pilot in sets like these, especially the older ones, but we do have a female pilot in this, which I think is awesome. There's no back printing or second face, just like the other, but it's a really awesome little figure, I think. So anyway, those are uh, the three figures over here. Oh, and you can, it comes with um, the hat. So you can switch out the hair for the hat if you want to do that instead. But I prefer to uh, let her have her little blonde ponytail there. So anyway, there is the whole set. Um, I really want to know what you guys think about this set. I think it's awesome. I love the set. Um, I love the overall the, the look and design of the set. Like I said, my my only complaint is that some of the pieces kind of are a little bit loose, but I, I'm, I'm really chalking that up to the age of the set and not really blaming it on the design itself. Uh, so, I mean, personally, I would give this set like, I mean, I usually don't rate sets, honestly, but if I were going to rate it, I would probably rate it like a, probably like a nine out of 10. Like, it gets a really high score from me. I think it's just awesome. But anyway, let me know your thoughts in the comments below, and I will see you guys later.